Hey guys, my name is Kyle, and today we're going to put Netflix on your iPhone. Uh, this is for the 3G, 3GS, or iPhone 4. Now, I'm getting all this information from a really amazing blog post over on FSM. Um, I'm going to have the link to the original article with all the instructions that I'm going to give you in this video right around here somewhere. So if you want to just skip this uh, you know, lengthy video and just go over there and read them for yourself, uh, by all means, support them. Uh, but this is going to be for people that, you know, have a little bit of issues or a little bit frightened of uh, open SSHing or whatever. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hop right in it, and that way maybe you'll uh, believe me that this thing works. But as you can see, there is uh, Netflix right there at the middle of my iPhone. And uh, at the end of the video, after we do all the things I did to uh, port it over, uh, uh, I'll show you how it works a little bit. Um, just, to, just to begin, Netflix for iPhone has not been released yet officially. Uh, as of this recording anyway and um, uh, what we're basically doing is we're taking the iPad a version of the application and using um, an application from Cydia tricking it into thinking it's on an iPad to actually run on the iPhone so what we're going to need uh, before we start is the uh, Netflix for iPad um, IPA and you can just download this from iTunes if you don't even have an iPad and uh, it'll just go on your iTunes just go ahead and uh, click and drag it onto your desktop so you have that. Um, you're going to need to visit the article and get this document because we're going to need to paste this into your iPhone at some point. So yeah, go ahead and click the link over here. I'm going to have that up the entire video so you don't have to do it right now. But um, basically get that into some sort of text document uh, and I'll show you why in a minute. And uh, you're going to want to have uh, OpenSSH installed so you can have be logged into your phone and um, Aside from that, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So what you're going to do first is you're going to take the uh, IPA that you dragged onto your desktop and uh, you're going to go ahead and change the extension of it to zip. Now, if you're on the um, on Windows, it's going to be a little bit more complicated. At least it was in older versions of the OS. I haven't really toyed around with Windows 7 very much. But um, on Mac, just go ahead and change it. And now it's a zip folder. And then you're going to go ahead and uh, just open it. And it's going to unarchive, and then this thing. Let's try to get this. Uh, let's send this to trash. Okay. And now I won't even go over there. Alright. Let's move everything around a little bit. Move my iPhone. And uh, let's open this up. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take the. Um, open this up. You're going to see uh, artwork, met, you know, metadata P list. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, and the payload. You're going to open up payload, and there's going to be the app. And what you need to do with this is drag it into your applications folder on your iPhone. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so I can shove it over here. And um, we're going to go into our uh, phone. Now, if you don't know how to uh, log into your iPhone, go. there's a video on my channel. Go ahead and check it out. It's a little bit older, but uh, it still applies. So we're going to go all the way up to our first directory and go into applications. And what you're going to do is you're going to take this right here, this, this uh, application, and you're going to go ahead and drag it right in here. Now don't drag it into one of these folders, of course drag it in a, into the overhead and uh, just drag and drop. Now I already have it in here, so it's going to um, have a little bit of processing to do. And um, it's going to ask me if I want to overwrite. Obviously I don't, so I'm not going to do that. But you're going to pull that in there. And then you're going to have, you're going to be able to scroll down. I'm going to click uh, exit out of that transfer. And um, you're going to have something called Netflix.app. You're going to open that up. And then what you need to do is you need to do uh, control or command on it on a, on a PC, control all, and you're going to right click and get info. And uh, what that's going to do is it's going to open up, um, it's going to either open you up in the general or uh, permissions tab. You're going to go to permissions tab and you're going to have to set the uh, permissions to 755. Hit enter and it's going to do a little bit of processing because it's going to have to change the uh, permissions for all these files. And uh, as soon as you're done with that, we're uh, done with this. So I'll go ahead and minimize that and move this over a little bit. And um, now we have that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go into Cydia. And uh, Cydia is sort of time time consuming. But uh, we'll, I'll just sort of walk you through it with my voice. Uh, you're going to go into Cydia. You're going to download User Agent Faker. And I'm going to put that up on the screen right now so you get to spell it. And you're going to download that. Now there is UA Faker, which is an SB toggle, which I also have a video up of. But do not download that one. It is User Agent Faker. And uh, as soon as you download that, you're going to want to uh, reboot your device. 
and uh, as soon as you reboot your device, you're going to have to um, uh, go into settings. So we're going to go ahead and go into settings. And um, after you reboot your device, uh, you can go ahead and scroll down to um, user agent faker. And then you're going to have this little dialog box. And as you can see, uh, this thing that I told you you needed to paste in, I'm going to go ahead and click view this, needs to get there. So my way of doing this was uh, pretty simple. I just took this this RTF that I copied the text in from the article, drag the drag the drag the drag the drop, drop box, box transfer transferred it, opened up opened up drag up box on my iPhone, iPhone, and um, uh, just opened up the uh, paste me RTF. And uh, as simple as that, I got you know system wide, and then you just you know click and hold and copy. And then what you can go and th this is just one way. Obviously, you could. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a multitude of ways. This just seemed like the easiest way for me. Uh, but then you go back into settings, and uh, once that finishes loading up, you go into user agent faker and paste that in there. And then you're going to want to respring your device again. And now um, you should have what I'm looking at here, or you may have just a white icon, so you may want to respring again. Now, after all these steps that I'm going through pretty quickly to keep the uh, video down, you probably want to be respringing, rebooting to make sure your, your iPhone's keeping up with the changes you're making. But um, uh, the, the Netflix application as it is now, even though it looks really pretty, you open it up like this, it'll load for a second, and then it'll just give you an image, which is panable, like this, you know and you can move it around, but that's not the Netflix app. So what you have to do is you have to go into Safari. And again, this is just, you know, you're tricking your your thing. So you go into Safari. This is my Safari. And um, we're going to go ahead and just pick something random to play. Uh, and as you can see, there's touch interface. Um, I'm moving my finger back and forth to move that. So it's the iPad version of the netflix.com and this one the guy has a goatee so we're going to go ahead and hit play now because of copyright reasons I can't show you any of the video actually playing but I can show you it uh, saying you're almost ready to watch whatever this is and then shifting over to the, the Netflix application and um, now it's loading preparing and drum roll please And uh, I should switch orientation. Uh, window rotate. And there you go. And then that's the wrong way. Well, we tried, didn't we? But yeah, that's, uh, that's how to get Netflix on your iPhone. And this again, I don't know if this works for the iPod Touch. Uh, if those of you with iPod Touches, please leave it in the comments. Tell me whether it works or not. Um, and, uh, for, uh, again, this comes all from, uh, the Funky Space Monkey blog. Check them out. They re make really good articles. And, uh, uh, yeah, you know, right there, link. Uh, but thank you for watching.